For thousands of years, villages in this remote part of northeast Bangladesh have thrived on fishing in these pools. But until recently, they have been banned from using them. During the monsoon season, these floodplains fill with water. Villages become solitary islands and roads disappear. When the water recedes, so do the fish, and they end up in pools known as beals, many of which remain all year round. The catches from these beals are huge, as are the interests. We made $2,500 from a catch a few days ago and $5,800 from yesterday's catch. Many beals belong to the Ministry of Land and leases are procured predominantly by an influential elite who reap the profits and deny access to local fishermen. After long legal battles, the Bangladeshi government, with the support of the UN's International Fund for Agricultural Development, succeeded in handing over 250 bills to poor fishers groups. Before, the bills belonged to the local elite. We poor fishermen were treated badly and denied access. We couldn't even farm our land near the bills. Now we can fish in them and make a profit. Abul Kashim is the secretary of this group of 40 fishermen. Known as bill users groups, they are democratically run. Work and profits are shared equally among members. And for the first time ever, women have been included as equal partners and this is transforming their role in the community. 40-year-old mother of five, Paolo Begum, has gained new confidence since joining the group. Now people call me to attend meetings and social activities. I can communicate with people and speak in public. Villagers respect me much more. With IFAD support, group members were trained how to self-manage their bills. IFAD is very interested in this project because it tackles one of the structural issues facing rural poor people in Bangladesh, which is lack of access to productive natural resources. This project has succeeded not only in taking resources away from local elites and giving them to the poor, but this has resulted in big reductions in poverty, reductions in malnutrition and improvements in natural resource management. By extending leases from three to ten years, user groups were motivated to exploit their resources sustainably. Fish sanctuaries were created and closed fishing periods introduced. Natural habitats are being restored by planting swamp trees and hundreds of local labourers employed to dig out silted up canals and beals. The results are clear to everyone. The first year we made a profit of $51, the following year $90. Last year we took home $257 each. Hopefully this year we can earn even more. Fish are multiplying with an increase in biodiversity from 88 to 133 species and production is up 60 kilos a hectare. Local villagers are eating more fish and an IFAD survey has indicated a drop in child stunting by almost 10%. Bina Begum says that being part of the user group has changed her life. Now she can feed her children three meals a day and send them to school. Having no land, their only resource is fish. It's an amazing change you can, you can observe in the face of the poor people. It was unbelievable for them. They have got the access right and they can catch the fish. And I think it's a very good lesson. I am confident this kind of efforts should be followed for the development in our country and even elsewhere. Due to the success of this 11-year effort, Poor fisher folk in five more districts will soon receive IFAD support, with a goal of improving incomes and darts by placing an additional 350 bills under their control.